Have you ever tried to share a dream and seen it get knocked down? Maybe your friends didn't understand, your families were skeptical, or perhaps you doubted yourself. It's a common experience to face negativity when you're pursuing something that you're really passionate about. I can relate to this since having transitioned from a structured career in engineering to the unpredictable realm of game design. My family prioritized education above all else. They wanted a straightforward career path for me, one that would lead to financial stability and proud recognition, never really focusing on what I actually wanted. It seemed that no matter what creative sparks I might have had, reality always had a way of overshadowing them. However, I stumbled upon an unexpected bridge between my abstract interests and the practical ones my family expected of me and that was engineering. I was inspired by the idea of becoming a free-spirited scientist, inventing and exploring ideas. However, since the mechanical engineering curriculum at my university was very job-focused, it didn't match my more romanticized vision of free-form invention, and therefore my interest in engineering shrunk as the curriculum progressed and got more narrow. College was a blur of changing majors and exploring passions. I stuck with engineering because I was still fascinated with understanding how the universe works. Yet, that still wasn't enough. I was constantly daydreaming about ideas I never acted on. I would draft fiction in my physics classes that I didn't enjoy, or I would finish my homework very quickly just to work on something more personal like the first video game I've ever made. Some might call me impractical, but I ask myself, what's the point of investing effort into something that you are no longer passionate about? The thrill of creation and exploring every what if kept me going, and I stayed in college more out of convenience and opportunity than desire. I always felt like modern education was outdated and that it was specifically designed for People who aren't like me, I mean, we're talking about a system that has existed since the industrial age, and I'm certainly not the first to say this. It's no wonder me being someone with multiple interests, not really liking routine, wouldn't really function in that type of setting. Which leads to my next creative challenge or curse. In my final semester, I had an idea to transform my most interesting engineering classes into real-time visual graphics. Think of it as an educational tool for those who wanted to see math and how it works and not just calculate it. However, my purpose was more out of ego than it was selflessness. Therefore, I lost interest in that as well because I wasn't willing to enjoy the journey as it was. I was more focused on the end result. The idea of becoming a game designer didn't really enter my mind until someone mistakenly assumed I was designing my own version of CoolMathGames.com. I wanted to make games before, but since I was surrounded by risk-adverse people, those influences made me consider an artistic career too risky, especially knowing my family's financial struggles in the past. The idea of being an artist just seemed kind of absurd at the time. Granted, I just didn't believe in myself enough to pursue that venture. But despite all that, I couldn't ignore the pull to create something meaningful, something abstract, where the value is intrinsic rather than extrinsic. People can be very cynical about that idea because the probability of succeeding is very low, but that is because it is a very demanding type of business or pursuit of happiness, I would say. And that realization fueled my desire to create video games that doesn't just touch the mind, but the soul as well. I had to teach myself how to be disciplined because I wasn't always like that. I dove into self-help books like Atomic Habits, experimented with every schedule routine I could find. I recognized the need for consistent marketing. Balancing game development with a day job and my personal life is tough. Since the beginning, this took a toll on my time. Despite the struggle, I've never been this happy or fulfilled in my life. It's a strange mix of joy and exhaustion, but I wouldn't have it any other way. I've learned so much about myself in these last few years and what I'm capable of. If you're a creative individual like myself, you may struggle with disliking routines or juggling multiple interests or needing the sense of purpose or sacrificing a lot just to live this lifestyle. However, these challenges do not have to be roadblocks and not all of us go through these specifically either. 
Some people like structure. I'm just someone that doesn't really. Instead, I think this can all be just new paths for your adventure or new ways to experiment with your life. They help you discover who you truly are. As a game designer, I want to blend technology and art in ways that inspire and move people. It's not just about pressing buttons for hours, but for me, it's about touching lives. I am shifting the focus of this channel away from game dev to a broader perspective on creativity and some of my personal journeys around education. This channel is still in the experimental stage, but if you enjoyed or relate to this video or even you've made it this far, please consider liking and subscribing. Keep dreaming, but most importantly, keep creating.